Hello there, I'm Reggie Watts, band leader here on The Late Late Show, but I'm also a junkie. A film junkie, that is, and that's why I would like to bring some attention to a much overlooked classic and a personal favorite of mine. It's directed by the legendary English auteur Jean-Luc Prichard and has recently been restored to its full glory. Please enjoy Come Here, Young Boy. Come here, young boy. I simply must have a word with you. I was born moments before the eruption of Krakatoa in the same barn that Catherine the Great used to entertain her galloping cavalcade of equine suitors. I am the only member of the landed gentry to have slept with both Cuba Gooding Jr. and Cuba Gooding Sr. It wasn't until my late thirties that it was revealed to me that I am not, nor have I ever been, Chinese. Of course, you know, they kicked me out of boarding school because my pubic hair was simply a mess. Tim Burton directed my bar mitzvah video, and I'm not even a little bit Jewish. The singular drawback of a life spent free of the burdens of science and medicine is that I've named all three of my daughters Diarrhea. The only reason I've ever been at all happy is because I drink a frightening amount of custard. I've whispered things to Drew Carey that would put your mother in tears. Once we realized the cat was feral, there was no way around it. We simply had to put him in a film. And I said to him, you'll have to clarify exactly what you mean by Turkish delight lest I lead you into my boudoir for sex, rather than my pantry for sex. My childhood was filled with great pleasures, not least of all being soothed to sleep by my nanny's vast bosom. I was meant to be on the Hindenburg, but I gorged myself on Mallard and couldn't be bothered to leave the bar. I don't believe in ghosts, but I do believe in the Danish. And I'll tell you what I told Pope Pius XII. There is scarcely a difference. Search all you like, I can assure you, you will never find my anus. And then Bill Gates asked me whale watching, and I said, absolutely not. I don't care for you, and I certainly don't care for whales. Suffice to say that Sir Laurence Olivier and I shared everything meals, lovers, and a strict belief that circumcision is the devil's cruelest ruse. I'm finished. 